Good morning. Welcome to another episode of Defiant Jeep. Today, we're going to work on a small project. It's actually a very simple project, easy to do. It's going to be kind of quick, probably about 15 to 30 minutes. I'm going to do both sides. Uh, honestly, it shouldn't take more than 15 minutes on one side. Uh, and what we're going to do today is we're going to take advantage of these rocker guards right here. I got these from a buddy of mine who's got a Rubicon, did a lift, and of course put the larger tires. He took those rocker guards off because he went ahead and put on rock sliders and his Jeep looks fantastic. He's got a beautiful Rubicon. Um, so what uh, he did is he let me have these rocker guards for the JL, which I'm going to go ahead and install on my wife's JL because she doesn't have any protection uh, for at least the, uh, the, the pinch welds or the rocker panel. So let's go ahead and take a look at her Jeep. I've, uh, I've done one side already just to see how easy it is and it is actually very easy to do. Nothing but um, we got six studs on the panel itself. And then we had to add three bolts for the underside. I'm going to show you that in a moment, but let's go ahead and uh, take a look at her Jeep. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look over here. You can see on the driver's side that there is no protection. All you see is the pinch weld, you know? And it's very standard for a sport uh, or any other model that is not a Rubicon uh, to not come with any kind of protection right there. On the passenger side, I've already gone ahead and installed the rocket guard. And I got to say, it is a beautiful piece of metal right there. Really completes the look. Even though the, this vehicle is not lifted, uh, we'd still take this one off, off road. We'd take it on the trails and you know, forbid any damage would come under there. And this is going to help uh, protect some of that uh, undercarriage. But it really looks nice. And as I mentioned, it does complement the look of the Jeep. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the rocket guard to see uh, what we have to deal with. Alrighty, so here's the rocker guard. Now I do have it standing just to get a better look at it. It, uh, it is the same length as the other one. Now we do have to be careful when installing this. There is a left and a right. And you'll notice if you have rocker guards on your Rubicon or if you happen to pick some up, there's always a sticker, one's yellow and one's blue. Uh, these will identify part numbers and they will also let you know if it's a left side or a right side. Of course, the left side being the driver's side, the right side being the passenger side. So you have to be careful and pay attention to this when you put them on. But while we have it standing, uh, let's take a look at down here. This is the mounting area. You have this stud and, of course, that stud just above it. And in the center, in between that, you have this bracket that has these large holes. So you have six of these studs. Where did I pass it? <laughs> Dork. You got six of those studs, there you go. That's the center and that's the bottom. And each one of them has that bracket that takes that large hole. So that's what we'll be working on today and it's really easy to do. So what I'm gonna do right now is let me get my work area prepped. Uh, because I am working in the driveway, I am gonna lay out a piece of cardboard to try to keep myself as clean as possible. I'm gonna lay out my tools, I'm gonna bring the rocket guard, and then we're gonna start to install it. Alrighty, I, at this point, I believe we're ready to go. Now, one thing I did forget to mention is that uh, when I accepted these rocket guards from my friend Greg, uh, I did not get all the hardware, and that's okay. In most cases, when uh, you're installing aftermarket parts, you're gonna have to reuse some of your factory uh, fasteners. So, and that's all right. I just went down to the uh, local Ace Hardware and picked up what I need. I went ahead and instead of using some of the old fasteners, I decided, let me just buy all new fasteners. Um, you may want to consider uh, fatigue on nuts and bolts, stretch of the threads, that kind of thing. So I said, you know what, I'll spend the extra 10, 15 bucks, whatever. I'll get me new hardware. I bought me uh, maybe six bolts, 12 nuts, uh, a bunch of washers and some lock washers. But it, it, it's enough. You know, I'm very grateful for my friend Greg that he let me have these uh, uh, rocker guards at no charge at all. So for me to spend 15 bucks on fasteners, <laughs> it's still a gift. You know, it's uh, not a worry, but let's go ahead and uh, I'm gonna show you my layout here and then we're gonna get started. All right, so this is what we got here. We got the rocker guard prepared. It is ready to be mated to the pinch welds. I went ahead and I picked up my ratchet. It's got a 10 millimeter and I also have a 13 millimeter socket. Uh, for the most part, I'm gonna use the ratchet. For the, uh, the drill, I'm gonna cheat a little bit for the larger bolts. They have the 13 millimeter head and I'm just gonna help zip those in real quick. And then I'll just give them a tight snug my hand with the ratchet. So let me go ahead and get this underway and I'll show you how it's done. Super easy. 
Alrighty, so here we are. We are ready to get started. So what I'm going to do is because I'm doing this by myself, I'm going to try and leverage this. I'm going to try and balance this uh, rocket guard on my knees while I try and mate all six holes into the pinch weld with the studs uh, and try and fit it in. Once it's in there, I can put one nut at the front, one nut at the back uh, to keep it from falling on me and of course hurting me. So that's of course, safety is always a first issue. So we want to go ahead and get, uh, get safety conscious uh, and let's go ahead and get started. Let's go ahead and get this show on the road. So let's try do a little balance here. I'm going to scoot myself up a little bit. Now the idea is to get under this pinch weld with this bracket. So we're going to try and maneuver as the best we can while we try and take a look at all of the brackets and slide it in the holes and get it done. Come on now, you can do this. Oh, wonderful. And we're in. It was just that easy. So now, Let's go ahead and take a nut and a couple washers. Now here, because I wasn't sure of the size of the hole on the pinch weld, I did get the appropriate washer for the, uh, for the stud and the nut. But I went ahead and I decided, let me get one just a little hair larger also, so that I can sandwich a smaller washer on the bottom washer, just so I can keep it from going through the hole. And right there, you can see that I got it made it pretty centered and it, the hole is still off a little bit, but it's gonna work. So let's go ahead and start at least securing the ants for safety. Okay. That's one. Let me get this one over here. And we're gonna do a little sandwich. And all we're doing is just getting started. These are, I do not have lock washers on these because these are nylock nuts. So I don't have a fear or a concern that they're gonna back out, but it is something you should always double check. Um, anytime you install a fastener, a new fastener, and it does not have a wear pattern, you may wanna check it. In this case, this is a non-moving item. This is just being bolted here. Its only function is to exist. It does not have a need to move or interact with anything else. So it is generally a non-moving item. So we will double check these uh, nuts and bolts, but we're gonna give it a standard 500 miles, uh, only because it is a known fact that any kind of vibration can work a nut or a bolt loose. And we're gonna prevent that by checking in the next 500 miles how this does. And this is gonna be a wonderful advantage for my wife uh, because we do have a Jeep run coming, coming tomorrow. We'll again be taking out a new group to Mount Potosi. Um, and as I probably mentioned in a previous video, we are group leaders of our Jeep club and we always take out new beginners, new Jeep owners, inexperienced off-roaders or people just new to their Jeep altogether in general. And it's a nice run. We like that run. I've done it many, many times. I'm very happy with it. Yes, I want to venture to other trails like my friend Greg or my friend Keith from uh, Old Man Jeep and, or even my friend Brian from uh, Dirt Monkey. You know, they, they've venture into some wonderful trails. Oh my goodness. And I've gone out with them a couple times. I have done, not led any of theirs. Only because I'm not familiar with, with the terrain the way they are. So, all I can say is, you know, God bless you guys. You guys are doing a fantastic job. Okay. So, I've made it all six of the studs with the nuts. And now I am just starting the, the, the bolts for the other brackets. And this is going to be, like, super quick. You know, so I'm starting them by hand. I'm not even putting them tight. I'm just starting them by hand. Now, this is something you want to remember. Um, this type of uh, appliance or this particular rocket guard, because it has studs going horizontal 
and bolts going vertical. Rule of thumb is that you want to tighten up these guys. Make sure they're secure before you tighten up these. If you tighten this one first, you may not have enough space or leverage to totally tighten and bottom out the, uh, the nuts here. So we're going to do these first. And uh, again, because it's not a moving part, I'm still going to start from the center. And then I'm going to go, you know, from center to outward. And that's how we're going to do it. So let me go ahead and get started on that. Got my 10 millimeter. Oh, let's get, let's do that. Nice if I had an air ratchet, but I don't. All right, let's just do that a little tight. And that should be good. Let's do this one here. Wonderful. All right, now we are going to go to the more inner on the front one. Oh, there we go. That can get you a little bit more stable. nice all right so now we're gonna leave the front for a second let's go to the back same position in the rear the more inner I can put my arms in a nice position so note to self I should look into at least a lithium-ion battery operated small ratchet of some sort to get this job moving a little faster but it's all right, you know? Most of us do-it-yourselfers, you know? I mentioned before, I'm not a professional. I don't do this as a living. I just enjoy doing it, and I don't mind finding ways to do it. And most of the time, I am at the mercy of my driveway and my hand tools. All righty. Whew. Good Lord, have mercy. All righty. Let's get this guy going. What did I drop? Oh, a stone. <laughs> I'm not worried about a stone. I pick those up all the time. Mo's on the desert. That's expected. That sounds good right there. Sounds really good. you're in all right let's take a look at our last one here for this side once this one's in then we can wrestle those three bolts and we're pretty much done so, very easy project something I can knock out today I got the day off it's Veterans Day you know, I'm very thankful for my job and these, these benefits where I can take extra time off for myself and get a whole bunch of projects done. You know, and this is wonderful. I've been hanging on to these uh, rocker guards for a while. Not too long. I want to say maybe around a month or so. Maybe going on two. Not even 100% sure. You know, most of us are busy. We got jobs. We do all kinds of other stuff. And Come on, fellas. We got to admit this. Our wives always have something for us to do. All right, all six studs are set. Now just to tighten up uh, the bolts on the undercarriage part of it. So as I mentioned earlier, I'm gonna cheat. I'm gonna do the one in the center first. That's one. 
That's two. That's three. Now, just for, it's not even a security sake. I think it's more me, my peace of mind. I'm gonna check the torque anyways. Just give him a couple twists by hand. That's good. Doesn't have a good setting on it. Oh yeah, that's good. Let's take a look at this last one. And there you have it. She's all done. Uh, whew. I had to catch my breath for a second. Oh my goodness. I'm still out of shape. Alrighty then. And there you have it. Two rocket guards installed. Um, honestly, I checked the time on this. And it actually took me just a little over 11 minutes. So yes, you can get both of them done in 25 minutes. I don't see a problem with that at all. Super easy job. I did it in hand tools with 11 minutes. If some of you have like pneumatic tools or battery powered tools you can get it done a little faster but um what a nice job i believe i know i'm complimenting myself but it is a nice job you can see that just complement the jeep all together and both sides are done exactly the same um i hope you enjoyed this video i hope you found it educational and uh, entertaining and thanks again for joining me at defiant jeep don't forget to like subscribe and share don't forget to take a look at my friends page uh old man jeeping and dirt monkey and don't forget to join us at uh, DesertRegulars.club. We'll be seeing you soon. Have a great day. Bye-bye.